Hey, what's going on guys? It is Last here and welcome to episode 19 of Bite the Bullet here with Luis Suarez. First off, if you guys are looking for any ultimate team coins, check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. Use my code LA5TY, that'll get you a 10% discount and the link you need is down below in the description. Keep going ham on that like button guys, we've got a ridiculous squad right now. Look at this, Suarez, Messi, all sorts of good stuff. Suarez is currently rocking 57 goals and 15 assists in just 34 games. Really, really nice stats from him. He's such a great player. And the only worry I have is that Messi's going to overshadow him right now. We go into our first game of the episode. This guy's got a fairly cheap team, but it's actually got a lot of really good players in it. Um, from the same league as what we've got right now, the La Liga, the Liga BBVA. Um, and things start off not so great for us. He gets the ball into the back of the net or just over the top of the net. I mean, he gets the ball into the box. He doesn't score. No way. He's not going to score against us, is he? Messi starts his cam campaign off with us extremely well. Advanced roulette, which, as you guys know, is my new skill move of choice. Uh, and a little finesse shot into the back of the net. Really great goal from him right there. Uh, we then try it with Suarez right now. And I thought we got taken out right there. What part of the ball did that defender take? Absolutely none of it. But we don't get the, the free kick anyway. Uh, we then get through with Suarez. Score the goal. A good assist from Messi right there. But we are 2-0 up after 20 minutes. Nice and tidy indeed. Um... Um, on the edge of the box, then we play it into Suarez, who just cuts back um, and finesses it past a, a pretty much empty net with Ter Stegen in goal. He's such a bad keeper this year. And then Suarez is through right now, on for his hat-trick. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? He's going to net that ball. That is a hat-trick for him right there. And we're going to unlock ourselves a silver bullet. Nice stuff. Uh, Messi then um, pretty much wins a free kick, but Suarez is there to take the advantage and score it. But it doesn't, doesn't count. He gives the free kick for it. So I decided that I've already got the hat-trick with Suarez. Let's test out uh, Messi's free kicks because I'm actually already a fan of his free kick style more than Suarez's. And at half-time, my opponent decides that he is no longer willing to participate and he's going to quit. Uh, so we earn like nine shots on the target if we include their silver bullet right there, um, which is quite nice. Suarez now rocking 60 goals in 35 games. That's nearly two goals a game. And he's also got some assists as well. We hit the top part of Iniesta right there. As you guys know, he is now the only player left for us to get. I think we miss him with that shot. We might have just hit a little part of him right there. But is it going to count? No, we just knocked off the shot right there. We really need to unlock Iniesta right now. It's just, it's got to happen, surely. We keep getting very, very close, apart from that one, which I actually hit the door behind the target. That was a terrible shot. We then hit another little part of the top corner of Iniesta. Pretty sure we should nearly count unlocking him right now, because we've hit him quite a few times, but just not fully on. That one nearly hit him fully on. Uh, so it's time for the silver bullet. Can we, with our final shot, hit any part of Iniesta right now to unlock our final player? We can indeed. That was probably the best shot we took out of any of them. We finally unlock Iniesta. That is all of the Barcelona players that were on my board unlocked. I need some inspiration now as to what to do. I've got a couple of ideas, which I'll, I'll actually talk to you about them in the next episode. Uh, we switch Rakitic up for Iniesta, and that is about as good as our Barca squad is going to get. It looks really tidy, some really nice players. But we switch over to the hybrid squad. It's time to go into a game uh, with them right about now. The first opponent we come up against looks like this. He's got a very sweaty looking BPL squad. Uh, the only problem is as soon as we get into the game, it decides to quit me out and gives me the loss as soon as I come back into ultimate team. The next guy we come up against has got very low chemistry, but as you can see, he's gone for a pace team. He's gone for that pacey squad. But again, it kicked me out. So after I left it for a couple of hours, we then came back to it. We came up against this squad right here, which is a really nice Bundesliga team with some great informed players like De Bruyne and Dermich. Uh, and we actually get into this game, which is quite nice. Dermage gets through and scores on us on the seventh minute. I was up against a very tough opponent right now, and it was difficult to even get a chance. Now, Suarez does get through, and he does net a goal to equalise in the 14th minute. That was quite a nice response to the goal that he scored right there. I like that quick response time. Uh, but a few minutes later, like 15, 16 minutes later, Adrian Ramos is through. A nice roulette, to be fair. I didn't see it coming, and he scores the goal. Adrian Ramos is a handful on Ultimate Team. He's a devil to play against, and I really don't enjoy it. He nearly puts a two-goal lead ahead of me right there, but De Bruyne puts it wide of the post. However, we play in Rodrigo. Rodrigo misses it. How unfortunate. And we go into the halftime break 
2-1 down. And as you can see, my opponent's pretty much battering me. Way more shots, way more possession. Do I deserve to get back into this? Probably not, but I'm going to do it anyway because Suarez is that good. He scores his second goal of the game and that is 2 all. But literally, a couple of mo moments later, he plays through Adrian Ramos, who's too quick. You can't catch him. If Adrian Ramos starts going on a run, you can pretty much call that a goal and he does make it 3-2 to him. However, we counter-attack right now. Lovely 1-2 play there from Suarez and Iniesta. Uh, gets it through to Rodrigo. And I've got to say, that's such a nice little touch. He's done really well there um, to get it past the keeper and score a very nice goal. It doesn't last for long, though, because, well, we give away a penalty in unfortunate circumstances. I thought I took the ball, but I probably did take the man as well. And we get a red card um, for Vergini, the silver centre-back. He converts the penalty, so he is now 4-3 up. It's an eventful game, I'm not going to lie, but it's not one that seems to be going too well for us. Great ball from Iniesta. Rodrigo sticks it in the back of the net. Oh, thank you very much for that one. But Adrian Ramos pretty much goes on a run. I can't stop him. I don't know what it is. But Ramos scores again in the 83rd minute. Basically to win this game for this guy. And that was unfortunate because we did sort of come back into it in the end. But no worries. No worries at all. We lose the game. But we lose from time to time. We still got two goals and an assist with Suarez right there. So we've unlocked ourselves a few shots on the target. Which is quite nice indeed. I think four shots maybe. Uh, Suarez. Well we step up with the first one right there. We hit a 10k. But because I've broken my target it falls off a lot now. I'm going to count them from now on. As you can see by the action replay. We hit the yellow right there. There's just a bit of a dent in the target. So it doesn't want to stick on with the suction anymore second shot we take we do hit a 5k and it does decide to stick this time third shot we take we hit another 10k and knock the friggin thing over uh, as you can see right there again it does hit the yellow so we'll take the 10,000 coins and the last shot we get on the target we go ahead and smack a yellow on the 10k not so bad so we go from 305,000 coins uh, up to 340 so we get 35,000 coins from that little run not too bad at all uh, I'm getting towards the stage where I want to build a new hybrid but that'll come in the next episode or so I'll give you the rules for that at the end of next episode which will be tomorrow night thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that like button boys and I will catch you next time peace